In the quaint town of Pelican Portage there lived a comedian named Pencil Bob. His real name was Bob Johnson, but nobody called him that anymore. Pencil Bob earned his unique moniker because, well, he always seemed to carry a pencil behind his ear, ready to scribble down any funny thought that popped into his head. Pencil Bob wasn't your typical stand-up comedian, he was a master of physical comedy. His greatest moments were etched in Pelican Portage's history, and everyone eagerly awaited his next performance at the Pelican Portage Comedy Club. Little did the audience know, the true magic happened behind the scenes before every show. Pencil Bob's dressing room was a tiny space, cluttered with costumes, rubber chickens, and a seemingly endless supply of whoopee cushions. It was in this chaotic sanctuary that the genius of Pencil Bob truly unfolded. One fateful evening, the Pelican Portage Comedy Club was packed to the brim with eager spectators. Pencil Bob, sporting his trademark oversized glasses and a rainbow-colored wig, was backstage preparing for what would go down in history as one of his greatest moments. As the MC introduced Pencil Bob, the curtain rose to reveal him standing center stage with a banana peel in hand. The crowd erupted in laughter before he even said a word. Little did they know, the real comedy was about to unfold. Pencil Bob began his routine, slipping on the banana peel, flailing his arms wildly as he skated across the stage. Unbeknownst to the audience, he had rigged the banana peel with a hidden device that emitted a series of hilarious sound effects, from a quacking duck to a trombone playing a comical tune. Backstage, Pencil Bob's trusty sidekick, Snickers the mischievous monkey, was busy orchestrating the sound effects. Snickers, with a miniature conductor's wand, furiously pressed buttons on a makeshift soundboard, creating a symphony of laughter-inducing chaos. The audience was in stitches, completely oblivious to the behind-the-scenes madness. Pencil Bob's physical comedy was so convincing that the crowd couldn't discern what was genuine and what was meticulously planned. As the banana peel routine reached its climax, Pencil Bob stumbled and fell into an oversized pie strategically placed at the edge of the stage. The audience roared with laughter as whipped cream and custard flew in all directions. Little did they know, Pencil Bob had ingeniously hidden a smoke machine in the pie, creating a visually spectacular exit as he emerged in a cloud of mist. Backstage, Pencil Bob emerged victorious, covered head to toe in whipped cream. He wiped his face with a goofy grin and high-fived Snickers, who was gleefully munching on a banana. That was amazing, Bob. They loved it. Snickers chattered excitedly. Thanks, Snickers. Now, let's get ready for the grand finale, the disappearing act with the whoopee cushion orchestra, Pencil Bob replied, his eyes twinkling with mischief. As Pencil Bob prepared for the next segment, the backstage area resembled a carnival of comedy. There were strategically placed whoopee cushions of varying sizes, each rigged to produce a distinct sound when sat upon. The Pelican Portage Symphony Orchestra had nothing on Pencil Bob's whoopee cushion ensemble. The disappearing act unfolded on stage, with Pencil Bob pretending to disappear into thin air, leaving the audience in bewilderment. Little did they know, he had slipped behind a hidden curtain, orchestrating the whoopee cushion symphony with Snickers. The whoopee cushions played a cacophony of hilarious sounds, from high-pitched squeaks to deep belly laughs. The audience was left in stitches, trying to comprehend the absurdity of the disappearing act and the whimsical soundtrack that accompanied it. Backstage, Pencil Bob and Snickers reveled in the success of their comedic masterpiece. The dressing room was filled with laughter as they high-fived and exchanged knowing glances. Bob, you're a comedic genius. I've never seen anything like this, Snickers exclaimed, clapping his tiny hands. Thanks, Snickers. It's all about the surprise and making them laugh. Now, let's finish strong with the grand finale, the confetti cannon extravaganza. Pencil Bob declared, a mischievous twinkle in his eye. The final act was set to amaze and astound the audience. Pencil Bob, adorned in a glittering top hat and a vibrant bow tie, stood center stage with a seemingly ordinary cannon. Little did the audience know, this was no ordinary cannon, 
it was the Pelican Portage Confetti Cannon 3000. As Pencil Bob aimed the cannon at the crowd, the audience held their breath in anticipation. Suddenly, the cannon erupted in a shower of colorful confetti, covering the entire venue. Pelican Portage had never seen such a dazzling display of laughter-inducing spectacle. Unbeknownst to the audience, Pencil Bob and Snickers had spent hours stuffing the cannon with custom-made confetti featuring miniature jokes and puns. As the confetti rained down, the crowd found themselves surrounded by a blizzard of comedic one-liners and witty remarks. The grand finale left the audience in awe, their faces adorned with smiles and confetti. Pencil Bob took a bow, waving to the cheering crowd as Snickers danced alongside him, tossing confetti into the air. As the curtain fell and the applause echoed through the Pelican Portage Comedy Club, Pencil Bob and Snickers basked in the glory of another successful performance. Little did the audience know, the true magic of Pencil Bob's greatest moments unfolded behind the scenes, where creativity, ingenuity, and a touch of mischief collided to create laughter that would be remembered for years to come. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more of our original stories then please like and subscribe, and share and leave comments.